every morning since I've been home, I've been getting up and coming out here to see how much more I've lost. Tammy Carnahan's beloved beachfront tiki hut, gone. And so is much of her yard since Hurricane Matthew and the erosion left in its wake continues to eat away at the land. When high tide comes up, it comes and it keeps beating and it keeps beating and beating and taking my yard. This is where their property line used to be. Now they're faced with this. A 12 foot drop off steps away from their back door. It's just being destroyed and we're not being able to do anything about it. Frustrated, Carnahan says no one will help. And as the water inches closer and closer to their home, all she can do is wait because they can't build a seawall here to prevent future erosion. One reason being because that could threaten sea turtles like this little guy we found outside of Carnahan's home. What happens is it takes away nesting beach. And while turtles wait on the beach to be rescued. He's alive, very exhausted. Carnahan waits for some sort of savior herself because now she's worried she could lose her home. In Melbourne Beach, Bailey Myers, News 13.